All right. So question was asked, what do I look for in policy and procedure documents? What do I look for in policy and procedure documents? <music>
in the policy document you want to uh, or policy procedure document you want to see a section that talks about uh you know the audit log review being performed quarterly right because you're looking at the ssp versus uh what's in the policy document as an assessor uh, what else are you looking for in the policy and procedure document so if you're looking at a procedure document you're trying to make sure that the revision history table is also um accurate you know you're looking at the last time it was updated you're looking at um, the section that was updated you're also looking at the version number of the document to make sure that version control is implemented make sure that it's the right version so there are other things uh, that you could look for but i can't cover in this video so i hope this was helpful i have a cybersecurity course called the security control assessor course this course trains you on how to become a security control assessor also known as an sca or a SCA. now with this training it's going to show you step by step on the job training what a security control assessor does, how the security control assessor prepares for an assessment. If you don't know who a security control assessor is, a security control assessor is one who assesses security controls. Security controls are things or measures that you put in place to reduce risk to an acceptable level. So this training will show you the ins and out on how to become a uh, SCA. It also comes with a certificate of completion, um, resume, pre resume prep videos, uh, interview prep videos. It also comes with tons of resources, templates that you would use on the job. So if you are considering a career change or a field within cybersecurity that requires no technical skills and it's only about the compliance side of cybersecurity which deals with policies, procedures, and things of that nature. As a security control assessor, you're going to be looking at documentation, reviewing documentation, and writing your comments saying, hey, this passes, this fails, this is not right, uh, this is correct. Uh, so that's pretty much what a security control assessor does. You look at evidence and you determine if the evidence is satisfactory or not. And you have a cheat sheet with you to um, use as your guide. So for more information, sign up for this course and I promise you, you will not regret it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.